Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel. And today I am doing my January 2021 TBR. And as I go through my TBR, I'm going to go over my reading goals for this next year as well. So you'll see like the theme of what I hope to continue to base each of my next. So you will see the theme of what I would like to base my following month's TBRs on as well. I do hope to do two year-long TBRs this year. One I have already specifically mapped out the books and the other one I'm playing more loosey-goosey. So I'm just going to see, I'm going to read my books and then I'm going to see what fits. And so you'll hear me then in my wrap-up say this book goes with this prompt, this book goes with this prompt. So. On to my reading goals. So first off, I do expect to only read about four books a month. That is, I think, my average goal. However, it's January, and I don't start classes until mid-January, so I think I might be able to get a few more books in this month. And this will be my last semester of grad school, so once that's done, I think my reading will go up. But we'll see, because then I'll also be job hunting. So for my first reading goal of 2021, I would like to read one 2020 new release each month. And for the month of January, I have chosen Persephone Station by Stina Link. Like. Anyways, back when I read authors' blogs all the time, hers was one of the ones I read, and I really enjoyed it. And then when Worldcon was in Kansas City, I got to hear a reading that she did, but I still have not actually read anything by her. So I'm very excited to get to do that. And Persephone Station is a science fiction, so it's right up my alley. From the description, this uh, book looks like it's going to be following dual perspectives, Rosie and Angel. Now Rosie is an owner of a bar that caters to a criminal element of the the planet Persephone St Station, and Angel is an ex-marine and now is in charge of a band of mercenaries, or criminals, whatnot. And Rosie asks Angel to do a job. Now at the same time, the Sarava Orlov Corporation has decided there's a few secrets on Persephone Station it would like to exploit. And so to me, that just sounds fascinating, and I really look forward to it. Now, it does come out in January, so I am on the waiting list for my library, and I was lucky enough to be number one. So once that comes in, I will be reading it. So my second goal is to work on lowering my currently reading list on Goodreads. Right now, it is sitting at 159 as of the end of December. So for the book... I have chosen to continue with that I had previously started. That is The Last Argument of Kings by Joe Ambercrombie. And this is third in the First Law Trilogy. So, spoilers. I don't think they're huge spoilers, but still spoilers. Sounds like in this book they're going to be wrapping up a war that had started in the previous book. Or the previous two books. Kind of getting stuff figured out and I look forward to following these characters and finding out what happens. So my third goal is to work on reducing the number of books that I have unread on my Kindle app. So I usually only read ebooks and audiobooks when I am traveling. When I'm driving I like the audiobooks but like if we travel to another state I tend to make I always make sure that my Kindle app is up on my phone and it's easier to take my phone with me than a bag full of books. I, you know, thanks to the pandemic, we haven't been traveling anywhere. So I would like to prioritize that list and get that done. And the book that I chose it for that one is A Declaration of the Rights of Magicians by H.G. Perry. This is actually a book I won on a Goodreads giveaway, and I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it on BookTube. So from the synopsis, it looks like this book is set 
around the time of the French Revolution, a little maybe a little bit before in the Age of Enlightenment, and as well as revolutions and people wanting change, the magicians also want change. So I look forward to reading it and seeing how much I like it. All right, so my fourth goal is to work on my physical TBR. Now, many years ago, I did decrease my physical holdings, but I have gotten a few more and I do would like to make it so they're books that I actually want to stay and want to keep. What I do with my physical TBR, if I read the book and I want to re keep rereading it, I will keep it on my shelf. But if I re read the book, whether I liked it or not, but I did. So if I have a book that once I read it, I don't want to reread it, no matter if I liked it or not, I will give it away to somebody who I think will like it better or donate to the library. So the book that I have for this one is The Savage Legion by Matt Wallace. I bought this book earlier this summer when it came out. It came out in July read the first three chapters in August and then put it down, not because I wasn't interested, but because there were other books that I was reading for readathons. So I want to get to this this month and get that read. And I just want to say, look, finally the dust cover is on it so you get to see how pretty this dust cover is. From what I've caught the premise of this, in this society they will take prisoners and like just peasants who have no or have no nobody protecting them and they will be put into what they call the savage legion and they send them off to fight but don't give them any training or otherwise and at this point there's we're following multiple points of view but for the person who is currently gone into the savage legion it looks like she's looking for her employer like he was kidnapped and then pressed into a savage legion so she's looking to get him back while everyone at home is trying to shore up his the position that he had he has been pulled out of all right and then for the two readathons that i am doing this year i am doing if you got it read it by the spine breakers and this is the one that just based off of what i read i will then figure out what I read, how, what prompts it will fit into. And then in my wrap up, I will now talk about that. Oh, hey, this fills this prompt. But the other readathon, I have actually picked up books, and that is the Buzzword Readathon. That is the Buzzwordathon from Books with Lala. And I'm actually doing this with a friend, and so I'm excited to kind of see what she pulls out because I think we have different reading tastes. Now the book I have chosen for the month of January, which the buzzword is dream, is Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis. This also came out in 2019, but I asked, this is also one that I have not heard a lot of people talk about, even though it came out in 2019. This sounds to be a group of magicians are facing off to come up with the better shows. So like mag magic shows will be done in this one. And I haven't read a lot of that, so I am excited to read this one. I do have some other books out from the library, and so as time permits, I'm hoping to get those done as or get those read as well. So maybe my wrap up will be bigger in January than I'm expecting. I don't know. We shall see. But I'd love to know what you guys are reading for 2021. So go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know. Have a great day. Bye.